Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be installing NROX or NGROX, however you say that. And if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you guys are coming back for some more learning, let's learn. So first we should talk about what is this tool? Why should we be using this and what it's all about? So NROX is, say, for example, you want to host your own local server on your Linux box. In my case, we're going to be doing this in Kali Linux. And you want to have something exposed to the Internet behind your own firewall in your home office or your office or whatever. You can have this local server that you're hosting be accessible to the Internet, right? And vice versa. Someone from, you know, for example, I'm in, 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 in the south. If someone from the north wants to access my server to my local machine, I can use this service so I can host it and they can access it externally. So I haven't installed this on this box yet. And I figured I should just make a video, quick video to, you know, how to install this, right? How to get this up and running. Because, you know, maybe you're hosting a local server. Maybe you want to, you know, create a phishing campaign and you want to host this locally and you want someone to access it from the outside world or whatever. And obviously, you know, don't do anything crazy, you know, do everything that you have permission to do so. <clears throat> but this is a tool that it's not a hacking tool. It's not nothing like that. It's just a tool to host a local web server, whatever kind of web server you want to host, you know, that's up to you. All right, cool deal. So we can go, obviously you have to sign up. You can go to ngrock.com or ndrox, whatever, however you say that, uh, .com, and then you just sign up, log in, and here we go when you'll be prompted to the setup and installation so here we can what we can do is download this or we can just right click copy the link and let me open up a terminal and let's make this bigger all right so let me just get into root so i can uh, have all the proper stuff let me do an ls so i'm just going to go ahead and make a directory called uh tools okay and let's cd to tools Okay, so what I'm going to do is do a wget, and then I want to pull that down from their site. If I do an ls, we can see that this is the installation file. So now what we have to do is unzip this tar file. All right. So if we don't know how to do that, we can just do tar dash dash help. Okay, and we can see the different kind of options that we have here. But if you know how to do it, you know, skip this and keep going. I just want to make it very very clear on the the arguments or the options that i'm going to be using so if we come up let's come all the way up all right so all right so if we look through here we can see like some examples so we're going to actually use the xf argument or the example we're going to extract all the files from the archive car, uh, tar file all right so let me go ahead and hit the up arrow and do dash xf xf and then the, the this is the file here now we can do an ls and we can see the file is there so if we do an ls dash la whoops ah, crap. Oh, my God, my right. and we can see here you know we're going to make this executable you can you know you change the permission so let's do chmod really quick chmod That. Let me just do an ls really quick. Make sure it's there. Yeah. So let me just do this. Let me copy this. Ch mod. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. So here we go. So now we should be good. So now it's downloaded. If we can see here, we have the instructions are very very straightforward unzip the file to whatever path you want to unzip it to. We did that. And now we need to connect our authentication token. So what we can do here is copy this. Let's go back to the terminal. Go back to the terminal. Uh, right. So now we can do dat backslash. And let's see. Uh, okay. And now this auto token saved to the configuration file. And this is where the configuration file resides. So now 
all we have to do is run this and run it whatever on port 80 or whatever. So let's just do that really quick. And H2. All right, before we even do it, if we don't know anything about this tool, we can run this and see the options here, right? So we can see different kinds of uh, examples here. HTTP port 80, and this is the secure, you know, then we'll get a secure public URL for port 80 as a web server. And we can put a domain, we can put whatever we want, um, TCP 22, so we can tunnel over port 22, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna make this simple because it's just a demo video. So we're gonna go ahead and just put HTTP 80, right? So now we can see this service is running. Let's make this a little larger. And we can see the service is running, right? And let me bring this over a little bit. All right, so now if we go out to our local host, so let's copy this. So 172, uh, 127.001, colon 4040. Let's go ahead and come out here. And let's paste that. And we can see our services online, right? So this is the, to get started, make a request, okay? Let's make a request. That's fine, visit the site, okay? And now what we can do is go back. This is, this is fine. Let's go back and let's go ahead and copy this again, try something. Bad request. Let me see something. All right, so if it's on port 4040, let's, I wanna go ahead and kill this really quick. Let me check something out really quick. And let me try 4040, okay? Since it's running on 4040, so now let's go ahead and try this again. Open link. Now we can see everything is okay. So in my case, the port is 40, uh, 4040. So now what we can do is take this, and I wanna go ahead and open up a, uh, a browser on my local machine, because this is a virtual machine, and this is my local machine. So let me go ahead and come back here and take this. Uh, let me actually go back to here. Let me just go here and just use this, because this is what's forwarding. Let's copy this URL and come back. Let me come back to my local machine and paste that in here. And we can visit the site and everything is okay, boom. So this is pretty much how you go ahead and go about doing this. It's very, very simple. And with that, yeah, now you can see we get all the requests and now we can go back to the portal here we can see it's online and we get an all requests are good. So yeah, this is pretty much how you go ahead and host your own web server with NG Rocks. So hopefully you find this video informative. Thank you so much for viewing. And until next time, have an awesome day.